Here's how to create the dot leader in a table of contents. You'll see right here that the dots all align right here on a tab, and this is a right justified tab, and then the numbers all align here on a tab, and that's a left justified tab. So here's how to do it. Let's highlight the text where we want to have the dot leaders, and we'll go to page layout, and on paragraph there's this little arrow you can open up and we want to choose tabs and the first thing we want to do is put a tab right here that's right justified and has a dot leader on it and so we're gonna make that tab stop position this is about five point I think it was five point three seven five on my screen and we're gonna set that and then we're gonna make another one at five point five that's left justified with no dot leader and that creates the second tab and we make sure we set that so you see both tabs appear down here and then click OK. Now you're not going to see anything yet because you haven't hit the tabs so when you hit the first tab oh, it looks like our tab didn't take so there's our first tab and there's our second tab and the tabs are working but the dot leader didn't take so let's go back in and edit so let's go back to page layout as I recall this happened to me the last time too so I might as well show it to you again um, we'll go into tabs we'll go to this 5.38 and let's make sure that we click 2 and that it stays there set okay so there it goes now it's worked and now we can put in a number go to the next one hit tab put in our number hit another tab put in our number tab the first tab puts in the dots because it's essentially going to this tab and saying right justify the dots the second tab gives you the place to put the page number so that's how you do it